and welcome to a new kind of thing that I'm trying. I'm going to try something new for you guys, just to spice things up a little bit. I've delved into, a, like once, I did a um, makeup thing for you guys, like my daily makeup routine, which has actually drastically changed quite a bit. Now, I'm not a girly girl by any means at all whatsoever. <laughs> you guys know this, but like I'm slowly delving into the world of beauty products. Slowly. And I actually, um, because I actually ran out of foundation and I went and bought a different one that is not what I'm used to using and I, I don't really like it that much because it's got like really fine glitter in it and I'm I don't want glitter all over all over my face that's just nasty so I went out and I bought my very first BB cream and I tried it on yesterday and I'm still not really sure what I think about it so I'm gonna try it on again today for you guys. It is a Garnier BB cream with the uh, SPF 15 Miracle Skin Perfector and it is anti-aging so I know it's not going to focus on it so I have to focus it for you guys and that is what that looks like. Keep in mind I'm 26 years old I'm not 21 anymore and I do have like <laughs> you know, laugh lines and crow's feet appearing as well as some worry lines on my forehead. So <laughs> that is why I bought the anti-aging one is to basically give that a go because I don't want to look like, you know, an old lady. I want to look young. I want to look good. So I'm going to try this on for you guys really quick. And uh, it does come out like, you know, tannish color in the tube. You don't need a lot. It's like that. Yeah, see? There it is. Zoom. That's what it looks like. It's not very dark. But then again, neither am I. Uh, but uh, also because of the camera that I'm using, I'm going to be doing a lot of cutscenes. So, alright, so I'm going to try on this BB cream for you guys. I have a mirror in front of me. Like a little mirror. I'm just gonna dab it like all over. And as you guys can see, I do have quite a few imperfections on my face. I suffer from redness and, well, I do have zits and stuff, but that's not my biggest issue. My biggest issue is that, like right here, I get very red. I have a lot of redness right there on my face. And I don't like it showing very much. But I'm just, for the record, my hands are clean. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rub that in, work it in. I just have a little bit left on my hands, so I'm just gonna get what I can off and put that on my cheeks because that is where I feel I need the most coverage for my redness. And when you first apply this, it does feel a little greasy, not gonna lie. Um, and I do recommend washing your hands after applying this. Uh, also, to go with my new BB cream. I purchased an, an e.l.f. Flawless Face Powder. This is what that looks like. It's in the shade Ivory. It's very light, like I am. I'm pretty freaking pale. And uh, it, came, it came with one of these little powder puff things. And I'm not really entirely sure how to use one of these. So I also bought an e.l.f. powder brush. It's a flat 
brush, obviously. Um, but I'm just going to, I'm going to use this on this side of my face, and I'm going to use the brush on this side of my face, just to see what the difference is. Like, this is actually really, really soft, not going to lie, and it's, it's nice to touch to the face, but not very much on there. <laughs> but, I'm just going to powder that around. I've seen my grandmother use, like, powder puffs and stuff like this on her face, but... Again, I'm not a powder puff kind of person. Just dabbing it on there. I'm trying not to like rub so I don't rub it off. Cause that would just, nobody wants to rub off their makeup while applying makeup. And this is just, you know experimenting with the powder puff because I don't use powder puffs like ever like the other foundation that I bought actually came with like a really big powder puff and uh, you know what I did with that I threw it away because I didn't know what to do with it but this actually looks nice my god I feel like my face looks pretty damn good on that side. This side. Not bad. And now I'm going to use my e.l.f. face brush. Pow powder brush. Sorry, it's not a face brush. Powder brush. Give that a go. I mean, it feels good on my face, not gonna lie. I do like it. Uh, a good thing also about this is that I can't actually wipe off the makeup with it. And when you do wear makeup, don't just put it on your face. You put a little bit, you know, blend it down into your neck. Otherwise, you're just gonna look, well, like you're wearing a mask and nobody wants to look like that. I'd say I look pretty decent compared to what we started with. So, yeah, I feel good. I feel good. Yep. Yeah. And I do apologize if I keep looking over there. Um, it's where my display is for the camera, so. It's the only way I can actually see myself, aside from my mirror, this right here, which is actually made by Con Air. This is a double sided mirror. Um, one side magnifies, um, you know, so that I can do my eye makeup and whatnot. And, uh, my favorite part about it is trying not to get you guys in the shot. It lights up. <gasps> Yay! Maybe I should have did that. Add a little extra light. Right? I totally should have done that. But I'm working with natural light coming from that direction, natural light coming from over there. And by over there, I mean the other end of my curtain. This is a curtain. It's a curtain. It goes outside. <laughs> um, I'm actually in my bedroom filming this. So, yeah. Um, also, I would like to explain the reason why I keep going to cutscenes is because my camera is technically designed more for photography than filming. So I can only record 10 minutes at a clip. So I try to hit the record button whenever I can think about it before it decides to time out and I run out of time. So, yes. <laughs> and it cuts off like right in the middle of like a sentence or something and it, oh, it just screws up everything. But, um, I also invested a little bit of money into something else. It is the Jergens Natural Glow. I bought the Face Daily Moisturizer as well as the Firming Daily Moisturizer um, because <laughs> I'm blonde and I'm very fair skinned and every single summer I'm either 
the really white girl or the really red girl. And I would be damned if I am not the color I want to be this summer. So, this is supposed to gradually create flawless, natural looking color. Um, between fair to medium skin tone, as well as this one. So, and they both have SPF, wait, this one doesn't say it has SPF in it. This has SPF 20 in it. I don't think this one does, but I really need to figure out a better setup for this so I'm not like looking way the hell over there at the display and I'm looking more like in this general area. I'd have you guys like facing the bed, but it's more of a hot mess than I am. <laughs> so, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, but I am going to try to do like maybe every other day or every couple of days I'm going to take a picture of myself after I start using this stuff I'm going to start using it tonight and we will see like how how much darker I become with it cuz I'm tired of being the pale chick because we all know I work in a warehouse I don't ever see daylight and the warehouse is full of dust and everything so my pores get just gross which is why I'm like in love with this right now um, it covers blurs fills in all that good stuff so yeah I'm basically a like a, a dirty little mole that lives underground and I don't want to be a dirty little mole that lives underground anymore I want to burst out of my shell so to speak and whatnot we're trying this um, and uh, actually I will be bringing some more beauty videos your way later this month you will find out exactly what I mean I'm not spoiling it for anybody I'm not doing it you're just gonna have to wait and see and god I'm like a ghost I'm so pale I'm so white. It's so sad. <sighs> Sorry, you guys were like way the hell up here. And you need to be down here. Down here with me. This was, was, was covering my bra straps when I put it on. Apparently not anymore. Um, but I will be keeping you guys up to date on how this goes. I'm really hoping that it works because this stuff was expensive. Both of these cost like eight dollars, and yeah, I bought an HDMI cable for less than that, less than what these two things are worth. So, yeah, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be really, really mad because I feel like I'll just have wasted sixteen dollars, and I don't want to waste my money. I hate wasting my money, so. That is all I have for you guys today. Please keep your eyes peeled for later this month. Um, I'm guesstimating somewhere in the middle of the month to near the end of the month. But, yeah. We shall see. So I hope you guys are having an awesome, fabulous day. And uh, please go and subscribe if you want to see more of this face. I don't blame you if you don't, but, you know, this face likes you, so why not like it? Um, I'm just kidding, um, but yeah. Go ahead and subscribe, maybe click the like button, doesn't hurt, just saying. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!